Hey, Monte, uh, pretty simple. How did you guys keep your composure every time Dame kept hitting those massive shots um, to, to extend the game? How did you guys just, you know, kind of just stay with it? Uh, we was just, uh, we, we expect that from Dame, man. He's a hell of a player, man. Got to give him a lot of respect. He made some crazy shots, but really not crazy for him because, you know, he's been hitting them in his whole career. So we just knew, you know, guys like him and CJ can get it going really quickly, but we just had to keep our composure, keep running our sets and getting into it that way. Brian Blackburn, Denver Stiffs. Monte, you had 28 points tonight and went to the line 11 times. It's been said over and over that, You've wanted to be here for those big games. Uh, this was as big of a game as maybe you've had, like with this Nuggets team, correct? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I just wanted to be aggressive, you know, like, you know, Coach Malone and like, you know, guys, even Will, you know, and, you know, a few of my trainers, they just like, just be aggressive, look to press their feet, go downhill, make plays for yourself and also others. And, you know, you will have a, a game like that. So I just wanted, you know, to take on the, the challenge, you know, um, to play in a hostile environment in game five uh, with a chance to go up 3-2 and just be myself, go out there, have fun, miss or make, just be aggressive. It helps the team a lot, you know, and all the guys really told me that. So it felt good hearing that. So. Matt Moore, the Act Network. Monte, after your first playoff run in the media day the following season, you said that you took a lot away from that and you – we're really focused on being ready for these types of games. Uh, my question is, what would you tell your younger self about what it takes to have games like this in the playoffs? Um, really just like, it's just experience. I needed to go through it. Um, you know, it's rare that guys, you know, coming off of, you know, you know a two way with no experience and just playing a regular season for his first time to have a huge impact in the playoffs. So, I, I mean, I would just tell my, younger self, you needed to go through it um, just to know how to, um, you know, prepare um, for this go around. And, you know, in the bubble last year, it helped, you know, it wasn't the same hostile environment as, far, or as fans and things, but still the, the game speed and all that definitely helped me. So, um, yeah, I, I had nightmares before every playoffs before uh, about my first playoff. And I just, that's why I bust my ass and work hard, you know, whether I'm here or, you know, off the ball arena premises, um, just because I don't ever want that feeling again. You know, it was a hard feeling and hard pill to swallow. Harrison Wynn, DMVR. Hey, Monte, uh, Mike has that rough game last game, bounces back tonight. What What is it about his makeup as a person or, or as a player that gives you confidence that he's just going to bounce back like that? Um, like I said, his work, his work ethic is, you know, is amazing. He watches a lot of film, you know, and he, he took it upon himself. You know, he's like, you know, we got to do a better job, you know, the screening for him and getting him open. But he also took on this. He got to be more engaged. And he did that, you know, 12 rebounds, uh, two steals, big steals. And, you know, also the way 10 for 13, you know, his shots was very in rhythm. And he, he didn't let Powell dictate the game tonight. You know, we felt – all of the Blazers hit us first in Portland, and we didn't want that to be the same issue tonight. Mark Kisla, Denver Post. Hey, Monte, I know you got serious basketball work to do in a game like this, but how much different is this atmosphere than, say, a playoff game in the bubble a year ago? And do you, during the course of the game, just let that energy soak it in and enjoy it or or is it too serious to, to do that well man you just gotta stay even killed with the whole situation i think um you know i believe it's harder to play basketball angry and too too locked in you gotta still have fun with it um and I, that's what i tried to do um tonight and put my experience from the previous go rounds um together and go out there and play Vinny benedetto denver gazette Hey Monte, can you give us a little history lesson on the on the nickname Big Game Tay? When when did you get it? How long have you had it? Who gave it to you? Uh, yeah, I was in college. It was like my sophomore year. I hit a game winner against Texas in the quarterfinal of the Big Twelve tournament, and then I went back to campus after we won in the uh, Big Twelve conference title, and 
just all the students and everything. When we celebrated at the celebration, just as like big game Tay. Um, and then we all just ran with it for the rest of my career. I just ran with it too, because it got a little rhythm to it. So that's that's the story. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Hey, Tay, I, I was just thinking before this playoff series, when I asked you about what your expectations were for yourself and how much the old meeting against Portland was going to help you in this series. And you had talked about totally different for me. I know what to expect. I know how to attack it. Mm -hmm. How much does that play into you being ready for big moments? like this and you feeling confident in big moments like this? I mean, you know, I missed, I missed what, uh, I missed 11 shots tonight, but the ones I missed, they were all makeable for me. And I just kept shooting and, you know, the bench and coaches kept keep telling me to keep shooting and staying aggressive. It wasn't like the last, like the playoffs were, you know, I didn't make a three out. I, I was like 0 for 14 in my first playoffs from three. I would get down, you know, and had them numbers in my head. But now, you know, I've trusted my work ethic. And, you know, if I'm open, I'm going to let it fly and just play aggressive. Uh, I think that's just my experience and, you know, just putting in that amount of time. So it definitely, definitely helps. Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Monte, can you just describe what it's like going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Dame when a guy you said it was making crazy shots? Uh, mm -hmm was making crazy shots like he was like can you just describe how, how there doesn't seem to be any room for 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 thinking you just have to play and, and, and you know any nerves have to go right out the door oh uh, man listen dang like i said he's an amazing talent um he acquires so much attention and you just got to be locked in on mary possession um just going toe to toe with the auto guards man it's it's fun, you know, if you love basketball, a real life hooper, you get up for games like this, especially against this type of competition to test your skills and see where you at and how you can get better. So um, you definitely need rest the night before seeing those those guys. But it's definitely been fun over the last few years and also the regular season. All right, Monte, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Jacob Toby from Nine News. Hey, Tay, um, coach was talking after the game. He said, you know, if, if we ended up losing this game, I still would have been happy because of the fight that this team showed. You know, it was obvious that, that some of that wasn't there in game four. Just, you know, how proud are you, are, are you of your guys just kind of turning it around and, and showing what this team's really about? I mean, I feel like every time, you know, our back has been against the wall, we answered adversity. Um, not even this year, but even in the past years. Um, when we looked like, you know, the series was going a different way, we, you know, we were staying it and had, you know, great comeback ability. So, um, yeah, tonight we fought, you know, but we definitely would have been, you know, down on ourselves if we would have lost, especially going back in that hostile environment, you know, down 3-2. So, you know, we just happy we got the job done. But it was a heck of a game, man. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, man. Yeah.